So the main benefit of having this human in a loop virtual reality setup is to mitigate the costs of having astronauts in space. My name is Marcella Jara, I'm Innovation Project Manager here at uh, Extend Robotics and we are at Satellite Application Catapult test facility for in-orbit service and manufacturing. We use this facility to simulate space and to give the validation process for microgravity and close proximity operations. The technology we have built at Extend Robotics is a fully immersive VR-based interface which enables operators to control robots seamlessly from anywhere in the world or in space. The fundamental value of our technology we've developed so far is really allowing people to access those dangerous or really hard to access workspace while keeping them safe and comfortable. Space is like a typical scenario where it's hard to access and very dangerous to work in. So we're very busy today that we have quite a few objectives to complete. Um, the most important aspect is to have a comparative study about the time of completion of to perform these uh, satellite um, maintenance service tasks. Space is the next frontier for the human evolution and as we go into, the, into space, robotics is going to play a huge part. For this system, the idea is the robot is going to be teleoperated by a user that is on Earth and everything that you see on this table will be up in space. The 27U is a broken satellite that you're going to be fixing and you've got a robot that's going to be replacing broken parts on it and on the inside of an uh, object of this size, you'd end up having something like your control system, your computer on board, and then for here we've got an example of what could be a broken fuel tank as well. You can see it's got some holes in it, it's cracked, it's needing to be replaced. We have additional challenge that we try to achieve with comparative study of multiple different type of 3D cameras, for example, the Z camera, the Photo Neo camera, and the Kinect camera. Ready for operation? Three, two, one, start. The new camera that we're testing today really gives us the order of magnitude precision improvement that is gearing towards the industrial level inspection performance. And this really gives us a step change compared to our previous generation uh, consumer level cameras. This sensor uses active laser scanners to measure the depth information and it's, it's really give us the opportunity to measure depths even in uh, pitch black. We're also testing extreme lighting conditions as well in terms of brightness. What we have here is a large 5000 watt tungsten light and it's supposed to represent the sun when you're out in space. It gives you a more mission representative scenario. We're here as part of the incubation period that we have for ESA Business Incubation Centre. Being part of the European Space Agency Business Incubation Centre has been a great opportunity for us. Everyone is playing an important and crucial part um, in the space industry and it's, it's a very close-knit environment. I think today is quite fruitful. Uh, we, we managed to demonstrate the feasibility of conducting space operations for satellite servicing. Um, at the same time, we also demonstrated the, the, the performance improvement based on new cameras that we've been integrating. It's a small step on Extent Robotics roadmap, but the giant leap for space technology.